All right, welcome back. Uh, college, not college football. I mean, geez, this is where my mind is right now. My mind is not where it should be. Um, still shocked about the Notre Dame, Brian Kelly stuff. I think I'll do a video on it tomorrow. Kind of my thinkings on it and why I think uh, they should go next. Uh, being a Notre Dame fan, even though I'm going to wear it more than Florida shirt, people are going to shirt me. Uh, not college football. This is NFL Tuesday here. Let's jump into it. Like I said, my mind has not been in the right place since around this time last night. Um, shocking, but you know what? Look, like I said, I'll do a video on it tomorrow. I'll go deep into it, walk through it. Um, but I think college, see, look, I'm just fucking my brain. I'm mush. This is, my brain's mush right now. NFL. All right. NFL here. We are starting to see... Some teams emerge, some teams that I don't think everybody had these teams kind of in their wheelhouse. You'll see from the title of this video what potentially could happen. Um, it's crazy. You know, start off, my picks last week were horrible for the NFL. Was four and five, it's terrible. I should have been 3-0 on Thanksgiving. Should have been. The fucking Cowboys. Cowgirls, right? Like some people call them. So I go two and one, and then Sunday it's just fucking domino effect of fucking bad, bad fucking picks. I mean, it happens. It completely happens. But I think this video I want to talk about is we have teams that are starting to emerge. So who are the best teams in the NFL? Who is the best team in the NFL? Right? I mean, you have the Packers sitting at nine and three. They have their bye week this week. The Cardinals are nine and two. Buccaneers are eight and three. Cowboys and Rams are both seven and four. I think those are your real contenders in the NFC. And then the AFC, you have your Pats at eight and four, which nobody so I didn't see that eight and four. You have the Titans at eight and four, the Ravens at eight and three, Bills, Bengals, Chiefs at seven and four. I think those are your teams to look at. I think as we move forward here, um, big games this week, two where it's kind of like the dominoes will continue to fall. I'll talk about those later. But I, the best team in the NFL right now to me. And this is where I told you I'd start to make my predictions of like, you know, Thanksgiving and after is where I'm going to start fucking, I'll dive in and I'll start chopping, saying what I think, instead of just moderating everything, going through stuff. I think right now the best team in the NFL is the Packers. I hate to say it as a Bears fan. I hate the Packers, hate Aaron Rodgers, but they're the best team in the NFL. They just dominated the Rams, who Matthew Stafford is still like he's playing in a Lions uniform. He's, he's not very good. Uh... I could argue they'd be the same with Jared Goff. I mean, that's just where it is. So I think right now, the Packers are the best team in the NFL. Three, nine and three. I think right now, and they have so many injuries too. It's like that's what people aren't talking about. It's like their best corner hurt, still dominating. Best offensive lineman hurt, still dominating. Uh, not their best pass rusher. I think Rashawn Gary is their best pass rusher. So the second best pass rusher hurt, still dominating. I mean, we're starting to see these things fall where it's like. Even though Packers have all this turmoil, I mean, they're the best team right now in the NFL. I mean, they just really are. I don't believe in the Cardinals at 9-2. and two. I don't. I think they're really good, but I don't trust their coaching at the end of the day. And I don't know if they have it all to win it all. Uh, and then the Bucks, like you see from the title of the video. We could potentially have, with the Patriots the way that they are 8-4, and four, we could potentially have a Brady Belichick Super Bowl. That would be the wildest fucking thing ever. The Bucks just come off beating the Red Hot Colts. They're still really good. I still really like them. And I don't bet against Tom. Never have. Never will. And I just think it's one of those things where it's like they won it last year. They got to fix things clearly. But they still have the talent to where it's like you can never count them out. You just can't. And then the Cowboys and Rams... Not this year. I don't think it's their year. I think you legitimately have two teams in the NFC, the Packers and Bucks. And then after that, I don't... I mean, Cowboys are good, but they've skidded. I think they've lost three of the last four. Play the Saints this week. We'll see where they're at there. But They're still going to win their division, but it's... I thought they could take that next step. They haven't taken it yet. They're like stuck and like... They're hitting like a mime in a fucking... 
fake house. Like, they're still trying to get their way up through. So, I don't know. That's just what I look at the NFC. AFC, Pats are 8-4. I don't know how far they can go because of the rookie quarterback thing. I don't know how much I trust Mac Jones. I trust Belichick. You don't bet against Belichick. You don't bet against Brady. You don't bet against Saban. Those are three things in sports you don't do. But at some point, Mac Jones is going to show he's a rookie quarterback, right? Like, he has to, right? So I don't know. I Titans, without Derrick Henry, I, you can't take them. No bueno. They just got beat down by the Patriots. The Ravens, I mean, they barely beat the Browns. Mar had four turnovers this last week. I don't think that they are Super Bowl talent. I think the two teams to look at here, and this is where this week we'll kind of find more out about these two teams, but to me, the two teams sitting at 7-4, and four, the Bills and Chiefs, are the two teams where I'm like, okay, those are the two teams that can make it to the Super Bowl from the AFC. So I think from the NFC, you have the Pack and the Bucks, And then I think from the AFC, you have the Bills and you have the Chiefs. Those are who I think right now are teams that can legitimately win the Super Bowl right now. Things could change. Stuff could happen. I'm not going to count the Patriots out. Like I said, we could have a Brady Belichick Super Bowl. I'm not going to count the Pats out. But at some point, Mac Jones is going to become a rookie quarterback. I don't know when it is. They play the Bills this week. It could happen then. But those are my four teams right now I think I look at and I go, those four teams can win the Super Bowl right now. Chiefs are playing way better defense. Still have Patrick Mahomes. Still have Andy Reid. Still have that offense. They're going to be there. The Bills, they got to figure out their run game, but they have a formidable defense. Josh Allen, and I like their coach. Dermott's a good coach. So, I mean, I think this is what we're slowly building towards, in my opinion. If you look at the NFL playoff pictures right now, the AFC side, it's Ravens 1, Pats 2, Titans 3, Chiefs 4, Bengals 5, Bills 6, Chargers 7. In the NFC, you have the Cardinals 1, Packers 2, Bucks 3, Cowboys 4, Rams 5, 49ers 6, and the Washington football team 7. A lot of crazy shit's going to continue to happen. The 49ers just beat the Vikings this week. The football team just beat the Seahawks last night. They're teams that have good defenses, quality coaching. The 49ers have a really good run game. If Jimmy G just gets them enough, they can make the playoffs. Football team, I don't know yet. I don't. That last spot in the NFC is going to be an atrocious team, in my opinion. But I think you look at it and you're like, I think right now, if you had to say it, I think there's deeper teams in the AFC than the NFC right now. But that's just from a record standpoint. I think the better teams are still in the NFC because you go five deep, and you're at the Rams. You go five deep in the AFC, you're at the Bengals. The Bengals aren't winning the Super Bowl. They don't have it this year. The Rams, they could win the Super Bowl. So uh, that's where I look at it. It's like, you look at the record-wise, it's like, man, AFC is deeper. No. The NFC, in my opinion, is still a better division and with more teams that could potentially win the Super Bowl. All right, let's move on to the game picks this week. I did terrible last week. I had five games this week. Look, it happens. It, it, it just happens in life. Where you're just not good. Your brain's not there. Your brain's mush. These picks would probably be terrible because my brain's fucking mush over the fucking Brian Kelly shit. That scumbag. But whatever. I'll talk about it tomorrow. Don't get me going. I've had a bad night. Rough night. Cried myself to sleep. No big deal. Cowboys at Saints. Thursday night. Cowboys are a four and a half point favorite. I think the Cowboys get back on their winning ways. Saints are going to start playing Taysom Hill as quarterback. I don't trust him as a quarterback. I don't think he's a quarterback. Therefore, I think the Cowboys get back, win him, do some things. They're just, they don't have their head coach still, so that's a problem. But it's like, at some point, they have to break out of this groove and be like, look at all this talent we have. We have to win. Chargers at Bengals. Bengals coming off a big win against the Steelers. Three-point favorites the Bengals are. I'm going to go with the Chargers here. I just, I don't know what it is. I think Justin Herbert comes out. Puts on a show against Joe Burrow. Um, and he's like, look, I was drafted six, you were drafted one, I beat you. I think that's just what happened. Ravens minus four at the Steelers. I picked the Steelers last week over the Bengals. Terrible pick. It was a horrible pick. I do not think the Ravens play as bad as they did last week against the Browns. I don't think the Steelers play as bad as they did against the Bengals, but I don't think the Steelers are as good as the Ravens. 
Therefore, I think the Ravens win this football game. Broncos at Chiefs. Chiefs are a 10-point favorite. I'm going to go with the Chiefs here. Chiefs are slowly starting to stride their way into being a really, really good football team. I think that win against the Cowboys showed a lot. Chris Jones is very dominant. You still have Tyron Matthew. They're very athletic on the backside of the defense in the secondary. And you still have Patrick Mahomes. How many times do I have to stress it? When everybody's freaking out, I told you to calm down. Look where they're at. They're going to be 8-4 and four after this week. And we're going to look at them and be like, wow. Super Bowl maybe? I mean, this team? I mean, I'm telling you, it, it could happen. The biggest game of the week, though, Bills play the Patriots. Pats at Bills. Bills are two and a half point favorite. I don't know if they're picking this game. I don't. This is one of those games where I don't know. I'm legitimately like, don't want to go against Bill and the Pats. Are they going to win it? Can they win it? I don't know who to pick for this game. I, I don't know. My guts tell me the Patriots, and I've bet against my gut a lot of times in the last few weeks. And I'm not betting against. I'm not betting against my gut this week. I am betting with my gut this week. Patriots beat the Bills Monday Night Football. They just do. I just think the Patriots are playing so good right now. Their defense is so dominant that and. Bills got a thing for the Bills, man. Like he plays very good against the Bills. Coach is very good against the Bills. I think that will continue. And I think the hype gets even higher for them making the Super Bowl potentially. Not not saying they're a Super Bowl team with Mac Jones, but the hype's gonna continue. If they nine and four and they beat the Bills, it's gonna be like this team, Super Bowl, Brady Belichick, maybe, question mark, maybe, don't know. Could happen. Alright, that's gonna do it for the NFL video. Like I said, not much. My brain's mush. I'm a broken man at this point. Broken. It happens, right? It's, it's sports. You lose your coach. Blah, 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 blah. Look, but I'm, a, I'm a broken man. I mean, there's nothing I can't say about it. I mean, I'll be truthful. With you. I'm a broken man. And it is what it is. I'll talk about it tomorrow in a video. I'll do a video about it, going in depth, talking. That's going to do it for the NFL video here. Playing hurt. I mean, it happens. Thanks for watching.